In my own public speaking journey, me along with a bunch of other coaches have trained thousands of people to become better at public speaking. But a lot of these people who come up to different different coaches say that they've already tried to do something to help them improve upon the skill. They've read books, they've taken courses, they've attended workshops, but it's still not worked for them. And they come to us and they tell us what do I do now? What is the best approach for me to get started? Because I know that the skill is important to learn. And the answer to that is that there is no one size fits all approach. Public speaking is a communication skill. Communication skills are very, very subjective. We all learn them differently. Some of us are born with natural tendency and have a flair of words while some of us are more introverted and shy and it takes us a lot of time and effort to get used to speaking to more than five people at a time. And that's the whole point. We need to understand our level of comfort and how much we're willing to go out of that comfort to actually learn the skill. So a few ways that we can get started with public speaking. The first step that we can take, we're going to start with the easiest but the least effective methods all the way up to the hardest but most effective methods. And you can gauge which one seems the best for you at this point in time and then move on from an easy one to a harder one and so on and so forth. Okay, so level one would be the very basics, which is online courses or books. Now, it's very easy to see why this is the least effective way to learn this particular skill because public speaking needs to be practiced. Ideally, if we have an audience and regular access to a stage, we would be much better off. However, if you're interested in just starting off with learning the theory and understanding certain concepts and get some quick tips, courses and books can be a good place to start. I'm putting a link in the description of a bunch of courses and books that have helped me personally and you can get started with that and then move on to slightly more harder and effective ways to learn the skill. The next method is offline classes and workshops. I have attended so many of these, especially when I was just starting off my public speaking journey and it helped but very, very little. The challenge that I found with a lot of these classes is that they are there for a limited period of time. So let's say a workshop lasts for about five days or a class lasts for about one month or maybe even more than that but at some point it ends and whatever you learn in that safe environment once you lose that practice after a bit of time you're kind of almost back to square one you still improved but you've lost a lot of that touch so while it's an effective solution in the short run it does not really lead to sustainable results but if you want to get started with this you can just simply Google public speaking classes near me or workshops happening around me. Usually every decently sized city would be having some sort of classes with regard to communication skills. One thing that is effective in these places, especially if it's an offline setting, is that you get to network and meet a few different people and that makes it a much more holistic experience. We might learn a lot more things than just public speaking from this approach. Level three is one-to-one -one coaching. Coaching, in my opinion, is the best way to learn public speaking without an audience. But at the same time, it's a little expensive, especially a coach you're learning with is experienced. Now, coaching can be highly effective. The only thing is that, again, because we don't have an audience to practice in front of, it can not give the best results. At the same time, it gives way better results than offline classes or books or courses because you can get very, very personalized attention. And that's the beauty about one-to-one -one coaching. Especially if you're someone who's giving regular presentations or speeches for your work or whatever it might be, having a coach to help you review those speeches, help you practice through them, help make those speeches better, coaching is the best way to go. I'm also putting a link in the description below of an article we've written which compares a bunch of of coaches in communications, which you can check out. See the one that fits you the best. Most of them have free consultations before you actually need to pay up for them. Check that out. Take up coaching if you feel that that's the best option for you. But if you're looking for something a little more economical and a little more sustainable, we move on to level four, which is Toastmasters. If you don't know what Toastmasters is, it's a global organization, which basically gives you a platform to practice public speaking. There are a bunch of clubs all over the world. There mostly would be one in or around your city. If you just do a quick Google search, you'll find one most likely. And when you go over there, there are a bunch of other members. You apply to give a speech. You write down your own speech. You come on stage, you deliver it. You get feedback and then the next week or the week after you can come back and give another speech with the feedback that you received on your previous presentation. Toastmasters has worked incredibly well for me because it's a self 
based learning platform. So there's nobody to tell you, you have to give a speech next week or this week. You can give it whenever you want. Plus, there's a lot of guidance and mentorship that's provided by more senior speakers. And at the end of the day, it again, like offline classes, helps you meet a bunch of more people. So other than just public speaking, it helped me also get over a little bit of the social anxiety I was facing to meet a bunch of new people, approach people and have more conversations and build my network. But unlike offline classes, it does not have a lifespan of just five days or one month or two months. We can literally keep renewing our membership and give as many speeches as we want until we find that we're comfortable enough to be on stage to translate that same amount of confidence into real life scenarios. And finally, level five is lifestyle public speaking. What does this mean? This breaks down into two parts. Number one is that we start treating every conversation like it's a public speech. We usually focus on things like voice modulation and body language whenever we want to actually go on a stage and give a presentation. But when we take those same skills and even start applying them in our daily conversations, whether we're on the phone or talking to somebody or talking to a group, a small group of people, the transition that we'll make onto the stage will seem a lot more natural because all the same principles of public speaking is something that we're already applying in our day-to-day -day lives. We've made an extensive video about this, which I'm linking somewhere over here. Highly recommend you check that out. It talks about different techniques that you can use every day without having access Access to an audience but still incrementally keeps on improving your communication and the second thing within lifestyle public speaking is to grab as much stage time as possible this thing literally changed my life to see how many opportunities we actually have to speak on stage is quite astounding. It's just that most of us don't tend to look around. If you're in college, there are so many festivals and events that we can volunteer to host on. If you're older and working in some sort of a community, again, a lot of chances to actually get in front of people. Then there are weddings, birthdays, and farewell parties where again, if we can use those simple opportunities to grab more and more stage time, even if we don't do very well on stage for that particular speech, we will find ourselves getting a little and little better. And the reason why this is on level five is because it's an always on approach. You're always out there looking for opportunities and it's going to be scary for a long period of time. So we always feel uncomfortable actually grabbing stage time. And there's a good chance we might screw up our speeches for a good amount of time till we finally feel comfortable giving speeches. So while that's way out of our comfort zone, it is the most effective way to actually become better public speakers because we integrate all those learnings into our lifestyle. Now, as I said before, if you want to know how to practice public speaking without an audience, I already linked the video before, but I'm linking it here again. Highly recommend you check that out if you are finding it hard to grab stage time or have access to an audience, these techniques will really help you practice public speaking even when you're alone.